Hello, I'm Alicia Coop. I'm the director of episode five of the wonderful series called Intersection. I'm so excited to be out here in Atlanta. I arrived a couple days ago and I'm just ready to go. It's an exciting project. Um, one that I believe everybody will be able to relate to regardless of race, gender, creed, age, you know, um, uh, gentrification is happening everywhere. And what I like about this project is they found humor in it. So it's a dark comedy that touches on very important issues. So I'm just excited to be a part of it. Okay, so tell us about the episode that you're directing. My episode is one episode that departs from the other five. It's uh, it actually takes place. It's, it's more like a reality show. My episode where um, this young couple comes over to look at. They're looking at homes and um, they see a home and they're not impressed by it. It doesn't look like anything that they thought it would look like. They don't really want to go in, but the realtor is very um, persuasive, <laughs> and she gets them to come in. And uh, hijinks ensue. The alarm. Well, first she can't get into the lock box, and then the alarm goes off, and you have to climb the window. And you know she's taking the black art down because that devalues a home, unfortunately. So there's a lot of humor in tragedy, and um, and all they want to do is leave. A cop shows up. He's not um, in any way trying to harm them, but you know, her privilege kicks in. She feels like this could go awry quickly, so she makes the situation worse unnecessarily. And um, she's trying to help, but she's also trying to keep a seal. And um, you know, she's smacking the car, you know, throwing her cards in the cop's face and doing all kinds of things that non uh, white people would get away with. <laughs> And, uh, you know, so she realizes they, they step in and, you know, they defuse the situation. And, you know, at the end of the day, the couple leaves. They're just like, oh, thank you so much. They, they basically escape. They get away. And then um, kids are recording on the sidewalk. They're saying all this go down. And she looks at them recording her. And she's like, oh, no. And she takes off <laughs> after them. And, you know, so it's a lot of humor in this episode. And, um, yeah, the, the realtor uh, 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 is... You know, the realtor is is funny accidentally. Right. So that's what you're really going to like about her. What I like about this project, too, and this episode is the writer's room consisted of African-American females and white females. And you can hear the voices being authentic. You know, the white voices sound authentic and the African-American voices sound authentic. And um, you can tell, you can tell that the writer's room is diverse because they nailed it and it feels effortless. And the two actors that we have that are playing the couple, they're everything we envisioned them to be. And they're excellent actors. They're, they're very grounded. Um, they don't even appear to be acting. Mm -hmm. And we're just fortunate to have them on board too. The producing team is wonderful. The writing team is wonderful. The cast is wonderful. And um, you guys will see, you'll see when you watch Intersection just how it all comes together. Now, let me ask you what, you know, since there'll be multiple directors, um, your episode is already different from the others. What is it that you want to make sure that people see about your style of directing? What do you want to bring to this project? Well, luckily for me, I have a background that's pretty vast and I've worked for years on reality television. I've spent 20 years as a stand-up comedian and probably 20 years working in uh, television. I've done daytime talk shows, I've done nighttime talk shows, I've worked on sitcoms, I've worked on reality television shows. And um, the reality element of this comes naturally to me because I spent so many years on the road doing a variety of reality shows. So um, my unique background is actually best beneficial in this episode out of all the episodes available to me. And um, yeah, so what you'll see is how reality tell how we break the fourth wall, and you'll see us going back and forth from reality to actuality. And um, yeah, so so you'll see the difference in this one and how it was actually perfect for me to be a part of this particular episode. Is there anything about today's shooting that makes you nervous? Where you're like, oh, I hope that doesn't go bad, or I hope this will be okay. Is there um, anything the, making you nervous? The only thing I could possibly think about is losing some losing light. Mm. You know, because um, that's what we need for this episode is, is, you know, and I think we can get it all done. I, I don't really think losing light it will be a problem. And um, that would be the only thing. And I think that we have enough time to get the shots done that we have a lot of because we spent so much time prepping mm -hmm. and we're overly prepared. And that's half the battle. Awesome.